We might even make it up this. It might just fall right here. Oh God, maybe it will actually. Bunch of bees are right there. <sighs> just a railroad. You know, no big deal. Just, whoa, oh my God. This is treasure. This is treasure, and it's not, it's not treasure where obviously you take or steal, it's just treasure because you just found this amazing time capsule. 1850, this house is pretty much pushing 200 years old at this time. Hancock County, Georgia, founded in the late 1700s. The story of the county is an all too common one a farming community pops up somewhere on the map, grows, thrives, and then all but disappears. Today we will be searching the town for some of the abandoned homes left forgotten and their beauty asking for their story to be told. So let's go to our first location of the day. Yerp, yeah, what is up explorers? Today is super cool because we're exploring some southern abandoned houses. Some of my coolest stuff to do if they're actually cool. If the houses are there and there's stuff in it, it's really cool to me. This house is pretty unique because right here, Dr. John owns both the houses that are here on the land and he died. No one has been here since. So the house pretty much went abandoned in 1976 at this point and his gravestone's still here. I'm with Steve Ronan, you already know. It's good. It's really cool because the land is still being taken care of like up until like this point just for his gravestone out of respect. And you can see right there, that's one abandoned house. And there's another one behind here. Now, Dr. John owned both the houses. He owned two of them and he lived in one of them and the other house was used for his staff. We are in the rural areas in the middle of freaking nowhere. There's no service here. It's just us. You know, we parked right here. House is right there. Oh, beautiful open land, good day. And then his gravestone's right behind here. Just in the middle there, hidden. It's awesome, it's really cool. Now, I'm gonna go through this whole place, go through the houses, and then we'll, maybe if there's a way, we can search back and see if there's any more gravestone for the nurses by any chance. I hear in the south, when the family died, they would actually just bury them in the back, back in the day. So this is one example of it. I've never seen it anywhere else, but I know that, is a, that it's a thing. Wow, this house looks actually amazing. The one thing I hate about doing southern spots is the spiders and all the crazy bugs. There could be a lot of them here. <sighs> Praying there's not though. Now the positive of doing southern spots are they are just literally forgotten about completely and wide open. Wow. It is trash though. Some old boots, fireplace, This place is literally falling apart. Oh my God. Sometimes there could be like wild animals in these places as well. Anything happens in the South for abandoned, I'm telling you. But this place is pretty trashed. As you see, it's like this whole place is just taken over by nature. You can't even see the front anymore. Scared to walk any further over there. It's the toilet. I mean, that's cool details in the light switch. Look at this from the heat and moisture. The fans just flop down. It looks sad. I mean, it's pretty big. It's wide open. like this door leads to the porch southern houses are just I don't know it's just nice I just picture myself you know in a rocking chair looking out the French porch <laughs> looking out at the, in the front of the porch and just rocking rocking away we can check down here see what's going on but I think this place is emptied out yeah we'll head upstairs and pray we don't fall I'm digging the front though the red panels, the pink, it is cool. <laughs> so 
So I think I'm gonna go upstairs, Steve, but catch me if I fall, cause it, it might happen. We might even make it up this, it might just fall right here. Oh God, maybe it will actually. Dude, look at all these dead, what is it, like birds? Just skeletons now. Yeah, there's a few of them. Even right there, like there's three, three bodies there, two bodies here. What's that, how? Eh. Maybe we don't need to walk up here. It's kind of gutted. Yeah. Man, you guys are watching this, it's like, fall. I hope he falls, I hope he falls. I ain't falling. Not bad. This is as far as I go. I'll check right here. The, that's cool wallpaper. It's like a nice like, I guess it looked like before, it was like a tan, then green, and then like some blue. Butterfly. He's trapped. I mean, if he goes just one more, one more inch down, he's free. He'll get it. All right, I'm getting out of here. There's no way I'm walking over there. Yes, let's go, let's go. Next house. Hopefully the next house has like some cool stuff in this because I don't know. There's nothing left here. The thing is though, when you find a nice house, it, it just hits different. Eh? Every house is different. Like every abandoned place is different it's in its own way, different vibes and everything. But houses is awesome because you go inside these houses, you kind of pick the clues and pick together like who lived here and stuff like that. And you just, you know, like the guy, the guy John in the backyard. If I had service, I would look up his last name and try to figure out more about him. And I would, you, get a, you would get a whole idea of what actually was kind of going down here from him. Now, dude, he died in 19, I think 74. So this house has been sitting here for a very long time. Now, the thing about the South is it's, it's amazing for abandoned because there's a lot of secrets and treasure. You know, there's neighborhoods where houses are sitting there in time capsules for like the last 50 years. And to this day, no one knows about them. So you gotta go find them, but it's amazing when you find them. You never know, it's literally true treasure hunting. We're gonna head to the other house. So we're gonna head to Dr. John's house, which is across this field. And this is what we see, just so you guys know. It's, it's absolutely empty. Now the thing to watch out for, by the way, is ticks. When exploring, you gotta watch out for ticks. There are times when I come out of an explore and there's like six ticks on me. And it sucks, six, 10, three, two, one, it doesn't matter. It only takes that one tick to get Lyme disease, so after a lot of explores, if I'm going through woods or anything, even nowadays, um, I find myself seven years ago never getting ticks on me on short grass. And now I can get ticks on me in short grass, so. And here is John's house. This is, looks promising. Not as big as the other house, but this was his personal house. So this could be better. Wow. Oh shit. Bunch of bees are right there. I'm not gonna get too close. But you can see right there, you might hear them. A lot of bees. Gotta watch out. If there's any more, I don't know if I'm even gonna go near this. It looks safer here. All right, this is promising. Already walking in here. You can see everything is still here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the light out in a minute. This is amazing. This is that Southern vibe I love. Abandoned houses in the South, I just, something about it, wow. This is treasure, this is treasure. And it's not, it's not treasure where obviously you take or steal, it's just treasure because you just found this amazing time capsule 
and you're in it. You know, you're in it now. It's, it's history. I love this so much. You know, even the kitchen though, their knickknacks, everything is still here. You even got the rocking chair. Yes. <laughs> and another one. I love it. I love it. This is just super cool. Look at old fans. You know they're good when the blades are actually metal. That's how you know it's a good fan. Oh my god. This is great. Wow, I can hear the freaking bees buzzing above us, but it's outside. What else is really cool is check out this mirror. The mirror is super big. Huge one. Jewelry is even set up. No, no jewelry left, of course. <laughs> but it is set up. You get the idea. Old fat TVs by Samsung. All this is a gem. And listen over here, we're gonna get closer. I just want you to hear the buzzing from all the bees. Ready? I don't know if you can hear that, but <laughs> it's freaking pretty gnarly, I don't know. All right, we're gonna head through the kitchen, see what else before we go upstairs. Still works. Man, such a gem this place is. I, I love this. I love it a lot because we really are in the middle of nowhere. This is a true time capsule. What's here? You know, a lot of times in the day, the South, even up north, of course, they like to like preserve things in like mason jars and age it. We've been to a lot of houses where grandmas and grandpas uh, would do that. This looks like it was either old apples or old maybe peaches in the jar. I mean, one or the other. They turned their closet in the kitchen into like a tool shed. Or at least someone did. You know what I like about the self too? I mean, in New England I do it as well. Well, my family does. But there's always like a lot of knickknacks. Old knickknacks, old furniture. I don't know, it's like they're always in glass. It's pretty cool. Oh, almost dropped the jar. <laughs> the shelf. Stainless steel though, forks, that's cool. Oh my God, you seen the bees? I was freaking out. I was That's freaking out. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so the bees they they're they're just in that little hive over there. Okay. So we were safe here, but I was freaking out too. When dude, this place is a gem. Yeah. It's a gem. Well, I love this a lot. Everything's here. Capsule, yeah. Everything's here. It's a it's a legit time capsule. It's so good. So good in here. Oh, that fan's sick. Dude, if you go to antique stores, sometimes these are $80. That's so awesome. These are some of the coolest fans. I would love to buy one. I'm scared to open up these. <laughs> Old 50s stove. Look at that setup. Even the, the freaking spoons and everything still on the wall. Dude, 1967. All right, walking to I think is the last room before we would head upstairs. Oh, there's just a huge I guess bathroom didn't look like it just custom I hear Steve in the next room talking about killer bees and just bees in general and how he's or wasps but it's funny um the whole the whole thing started at least for me in like the fair of exploring in the south with the bees and everything was because if you know if you guys don't know Dan Bell, check him out. But he went to an old place in the south, and literally he stepped into a room full of bees, or like a lot of them, way more than what you've seen here in this video. And they would all attack him and swarm him. 
and he literally dropped his camera and ran screaming, but he got attacked by bees. So ever since then, it's in my head forever that I have to stay away from bees. Normally I don't care. It's just a fear now. It's like watching like horror movies and then you're scared of something. <laughs> so thank you Dan Bell for that if you're watching this. And if you're not, everyone tell Dan to watch this video. <laughs> Alright, let's check upstairs. Hopefully it's as good as this floor because this floor is amazing. Here we go. I actually heard something up here though, so I gotta be careful. It was like walking, like maybe an animal. All right, that's a, that's a huge wasp right there by the window. This is awesome. Huge wide open room. A bit empty, but nah, this is cool. Freaking, uh, I don't wanna get too close, but. There's suitcases right there. Really cool, that cool old style one. Again, it's just all rocking chairs here. <laughs> I'm loving this natural sunlight. I really am coming right in, lighting up this place right now. Good vibes. I mean, look how old the papers were back in the day. The art. <sighs> just a railroad. You know, no big deal. Just. Whoa! Oh my god! I ran downstairs because there was a wasp like this big. Like those killer Japanese wasps. <laughs> it was just right up, right, right up at me and they ran back down. There he is, he's by the, he's by the window. Dude, he's so freaking big! Oh my god! Oh, one left. Dude, all right, we're gonna go here. Whoa. <gasps> Goodbye, wasps. Oh, another cool thing. You can tell this place is old because the door. Look how thin that door is. Wait. Look how thin that door is. And the nails are like almost like square nails. They were used like back in the day as well. Oh, and like I was saying, welcome to the south. Got the cool railroad right there. Nice view. This is definitely super, super cool, like I said. And look at the chests. I mean, I've been to so many antique stores, and seriously, these chests are the same ones I see in antique stores that you can buy. Love that Mary in the back. Wow. Dude, these were old flags at one point there. Like there, this is Washington, D.C. Anything in these chests? Little baby bibs, I think. The outside of this house, check it. Got like the two like garden things for plants in the entrance. This one is beautiful. The outside makes it look like, like a hidden temple. So overgrown that you can't actually see the house. The roof is gone. You know, this looks pretty spooky. Looks like there was a sign right there at one point. Did it tick on you? Yeah, like a tiny one. Like a really tiny one. Those are hard to see. Huh. God damn. I hate those ones. And I wonder if there's any in my hair. 
All right, Explorer, so I do have a tick on me right there. It's, the, I mean, it's bound to happen. Just be aware when you get them. Right there, you want to get them off. It's like crawling in my fingernail. There he is, gonna get him out. So um, we're at the car, we're getting out of here. Really good video, like I said, really cool place. I loved every minute of it, it's a gem. Um, so yeah, see you in the next spot. Look at their main street. Every single business is abandoned. Look at this, it's no joke. Oh my god, this is actually really cool. What? Just went down Main Street. There's nothing there. There she blows, boys. Look at that old Victorian style house. Wow. Now from the front of this place, it looks like it's a promising house. I love the architecture here. The front porch looking at it is nice. We're walking right up to it. Got the cool points, the tower on it. Dude, it actually says Adams on it. 208 Adams. It's like the Adams family house. Whoa. Actually, yeah, this could break. Okay. Dude. This is a sick front porch. These stairs look like they're gonna break on you. One by one, please, yes. I'm hugging the, the right side. Oh, oh so scary. Oh, cool. You see a tick already? Oh yeah. Have a tick on my bag. Yeah, I got it off though. Just looking around. I already read up some history on this place online. Um, I just got here again. This place is amazing. The colors, the outside, everything about this place is amazing. I love it. Uh, so first off, this was a plantation home built in 1815. 1815, this house is pretty much pushing 200 years old at this point. And what happened was the guy ended up, um, this whole plantation home uh, eventually, uh, when slave labor got canceled and no one was doing slave labor, the guy here ended up leaving and moving out of this county. And then a new family bought this place. And that guy ended up uh, becoming uh, really big and wealthy. He, he was the first one to manufacture fertilizer in a large amount. Um, and he turned this place into more of a Victorian style. Uh, he, you know, it was first a plantation, then he turned it into that. Now he ended up dying in this house in 1883. So he's been dead in this house and he was put into the town cemetery. Then after that, you know, a few years later, a new family bought the house, but they only stayed in for a little bit and then they also left, and then no one else bought this house ever since. It's been sitting here pretty much left for about the last 40 years. And, and one of the reasons why is like it costs a lot of money to restore places like this, so that's why a lot of Victorian homes pretty much sit and rot. So let's get it, let's go. What I love about this house is the color, and this color, everything was painted in 1998. Like, you know, when the, the people here were gonna retire, and when they, you know, they repainted and they fixed everything, they ended up not even really staying the whole time. So they put money into this house, but they pretty much left all of it. And they, when they were here, they said that they cleaned out so many different spiders and snakes. It was filled, it fiddled with a whole bunch of different things. But already here, I mean, look at this. The fireplace, this random, like, I don't know where the other half of his body is, but that's cool. Oh, look at the wallpaper, it's the world. That's awesome. And that's why it makes sense that the outside had a fresh coat of paint and it still looks pretty good. Cause it was only painted like 25 years ago. Some shame dude, someone, I gotta, I wanna buy this house. Looking down here, it's a very old like cash receipt. Like a calculator man, look at this thing. You know, a lot of people are religious. You know, you're gonna see a bunch of different things, crosses, God, Bibles. I didn't even notice. This is one of those things like you can drop, it's like a little mini elevator that goes from up to the bottom. You can put like your laundry in or like drinks, whatever, random. Obviously I think already the best part about this house is the outside though. Such a beautiful Victorian house with 
the painting. I mean, look at this. Even to open up these large doors, it's really cool. We're venturing off. Now here's the main lobby. This is the main door when you walk in here. I'm not even looking at myself what this house looks like yet. I'm literally looking at the wall too. And now I'm gonna look with you guys. Nice. It has style to it. You know, this is really cool style with the woodwork. It's really cool. I mean, look at this. You gotta give it to the art. This is all art that makes this house what it is. Like, they didn't have to do that. It just looks better. The wallpaper on the ceiling is really cool. A lot of things is kicked and thrown to the side. Shout out to the fan. I love those old school fans. Look how these shades are. Nice floors. Now one thing I do want to say is that the person who bought this house, again, he was the wealthiest in this town. Well, that freaked me out. I never, th I wouldn't have thought squatters would be here. Might have to watch my back, I don't know. I mean, this is literally the trap house right now. That bed's so nasty. But, you got a log, you got a firewood. <laughs> you do got a fireplace. What is going on in here though? There could be people here. Jeez. Just look at everything. So I'm assuming, yeah, his old office. Because they left this house vacant from around like 1998. So it makes sense. It's like Pentium 1s or 2s. Um, someone looks like they did come in here though and they were staying here for a little bit. They probably realized it was so much work to repair this place, they just said, screw it. I mean, not even that, but this house could have just had power or, you know, they stole power from another place and they were just illegally living in here. Because that's seriously what it also looks like as well. Dude, there is no way in heck you can't pay me to go in there. What is that? Is that like coffee? Whoever was living here, loved coffee. Cause it's all over the other house, the other side. And they like peanut butter. I like peanut butter too, that's a good move. There's nothing really left here. Dude, I, I just admire how like, you know, the high ceilings are, how they all had like old fireplaces inside. This one's the best one, this has gotta be like the king's the king's room, I mean, look at this. That's not even wood. <laughs> I love it. So far, pretty good. Oh, you even got, look at that, you even got pillars in the house. Pillars in the house. All right, coming up, going to the top floor now. This is where I'd worry if there's people. Oh, no one's here. Wow. Dude, this is sick. Some of the old family right before the house was gone. I'm pretty sure people still live here. I think they're just out right now. I think there's squatters living here right now. And here's the tower. We're in the tower right now. This is my favorite part of the house. This is the other tower. Very small. Nothing's in it. I love this design because it's very wide open, all made with nice wood. It's really good. This is an old laptop.
And I wouldn't be surprised if someone's dead in here. The hell? It's a door that opens into nothing. <laughs> it's a doorway to the, to the bottom pit. I don't know how I feel about that. Whoa, what does that lead? To the basement? Oh, that leads to the door where the office computer is. Okay, bathroom. And again, did you check out the woodwork with that U, like a U shape, something you see in France. Original floors. Back in the front lobby. We got one last room. All right, we're good. Wow, whoever's living here loves to drink. That's his main drink, the Bacardi. What the heck? A lot of candles are lit. Oh, for, yeah, because there's no power in here. He goes up there. We might have to go up there. I'll wait for Steve before we go in there. Dang, look at all the mats. I don't know if they're doing heroin or what. I'm not sure, but it got needles right there. It looks like some satanic ritual right here, though. <laughs> oh, wow, great. Yeah, I hear thunder outside. It's roaring, but there's other stuff. There's people with lawn mowing, so you can barely hear it. So we're going to be in this abandoned place with thunder coming and rain. hear that? The thunder is coming and we're in this old abandoned Victorian house. That is vibes. Vibes right there. Hopefully whoever lives here doesn't come back. Well squatters. I mean they don't really, technically they don't own it but hmm. There he is. Wait which room? This room right here. Can you go through it in there? I don't know, let me see. I don't know. It looks so scary, man. Like someone lives in there. Oh, yeah, so I did. Okay. So there's no one in there. Right. But I was going to say, I was like, Steve's going to think there's someone in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is, it is a bit sp uh, spooky. I think someone actually does live here right now. So? Because when you, go up, yeah, when you go upstairs, someone looks like they're definitely living here. So I think they're out and about. How the dust and spider webs like t took on this. I don't even, it doesn't even make sense. I don't know how that even happened. It looks like a bunch of little veins and just went on to this. It's like a ch almost like spider, like Spider Man just went. Ch we gotta go back upstairs. We still have to explore the attic. I'm going up the attic, bro. All right, have fun. My battery died, so Did it? I'm doing a bit. All right, I'll go up and I'll let you know. Oh my god. I don't think we should, dude. I think there's like nothing even up here. Like really, look at these freaking stairs. This thing's like, oh. Uh. 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 Bunch of boxes. Man, there's not even up here. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Woo! <sighs> Alright, we're heading out of here right now, but me and Steve are debating who wants to go first. Steve did go in here first. I did go in first. I took the damage. I got bugs, <laughs> ticks all over me. Now it's Josh's turn. <laughs> Dang it, you're right. Alright, I'll go first. Don't go, out, don't go yet until I'm down. Because these stairs are gonna break, yeah. 
Oh. God. Oh. Coming out. Oh. <laughs> All right. Really like this better than I thought. Time to hit up the second house. That window top right, you'll see a girl in a white dress standing up there. Oh wait, like like uh like legends? Yeah, no, I've heard a lot of people still talk about it. Yeah. Wait, so you're you're you care if I record? Me? Yeah, or you don't care. I probably don't have time. I, I, I'm running a store, so uh, yeah, I gotta get back in. Right. Uh, wait, yeah, we're but making a documentary on the. We were making a house. Yeah, we we're shooting the house. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so so you live around here? No, actually, uh, I live in Athens. Oh. Uh, but I own the store, so. I, oh I, I right. Drive down to work. Oh dang! So what they say that you if you, you some people see like a woman in there? Yeah, I've heard I've heard several people say it's a little girl in a white dress. Wow. Okay. That'll, Sometimes you'll see her in the window. That's I haven't seen myself, but that's what I've heard. Oh, that's spooky, man. Have a good day. It's, a, it's an awesome house. Yeah. It's real pretty. Yeah, no, it is. All right, All right take, take care, man. What do you think of that? Um, yeah. Dude, I'm scared to go up inside now. Me too. <laughs> it's all legends and rumors, I believe, but it's always fun when you can talk to a local, especially from this very small town. We are now hitting this collapsed, half collapsed house, but some of the rooms might be still cool. Don't know, but I love just checking out random houses and going through, it's so fun. How do you feel, Steve? Um, you know, I actually feel good. I'm you're not, not, you're not, not tired or nothing? I'm not really tired, no. Good, good. And yeah. what'd you think of that house, though? Um, yeah, it was sick. I enjoy houses like that, like Victorian style mansions and houses a lot. And the history about it was pretty cool, and just sad to see, you know, it just left rotting away like that. Oh yeah, and dude, it's like, and, and the, the thing is, it's it's actually one of the oldest, if not the oldest, house in that entire town. So it is in a town, there is a main street. The main street, if you've seen by some of my clips, it's all abandoned, but that house is like treasure, and it's just rotting there. It's the only, it's the, one of the oldest houses. Uh, and the guy that lived there at one time, the original owner, he was the richest in that town. So it's really cool and at the same time definitely like you said sad someone needs to restore it if someone restored it It would stick out like a, a sore thumb because of just how good it actually is All right, shit. All right. Where is the thing. house? Where is this abandoned house apparently? Oh, it's probably that thing. Right is there. this it? Oh, yeah, this right, might be it right Um yeah, it'd be a quick, it's a quickie though. Oh, uh, this guy, I, dude, honestly, I, everything's abandoned in here. I don't even freaking know. I need, no, this is, this gross. is abandoned. <laughs> it, out of order, order, and there's no dude, there's light. There's still chips inside there. Look at that, look at that window. <laughs> Why'd they, they close chips. it down? It's right across the street, man. We could park right here. So the town that we're in right now has a population of like 600. Uh, very small, but still worth checking out. Well, these are the houses you can get shot in if this is not abandoned and I screwed up. I think this is abandoned. Not that stable. Not that stable at all. I'm held by a door. But it's a spot I wanted to check out really quick. I don't know if there's anything actually good here. I think this was a uh, old like little uh, hotel, like a town hotel. It's an old tanning bed. I mean, there's no way this place is going to be legit shut down like trashed wrecking balled soon there's absolutely nothing here just what like books it's nothing really even cool on the outside very old though but nothing abandoned places when the rural areas are like no man's land not many explorers even know where they are or anything so you're in there at your own risk looking and exploring yourself oh my god not good yeah there's like nothing here we're getting out of here I'm just showing you guys kind of like a behind the scenes right now of like places that maybe I would want to film but I don't know if they're good yet so I check them out before I put them online. This is one of them. I don't think I'm going to go up there. I think I'm going to fall through these stairs. I'm halfway up but I'm like freaking out. Just want to see what's up here. Oh. 
Nah, I'm too scared. There's like a crack in here. I'm not doing it. Getting the heck out of here. I think there might be another abandoned house here though, in this area, like right behind here. Hang on. If you look, there's another abandoned house that's half collapsed in there, but the problem is, this is like someone's farm. Bob wire fence for the farm, keep the animals out and other people. Hell no, don't feel like getting shot here in the south. Um, yeah, I think we cleared it out. I think this is it for the day. It's, the sun's gonna be down in like two hours anyway. It looked almost like it could have been cool though from the outside. You never know sometimes. You really never know. Yeah, like I don't know what this is. Everything's kind of just empty here in this town. I feel like there's something good. See, that's I thought. I thought this was an abandoned house from the corner. No, nah, it's not. It's not. But you never. You you didn't know at first. Like from the back, you're like, oh, is that abandoned? But it's not. But yeah, this is how you gotta do it. Whoa. <laughs> that, that guy's a, big. What the heck? He's Dude, big. That's not bro. normal. I swear. <laughs> He's big. What? <laughs> Well, here we are back on Main Street of the Victorian house we're at and all of it is just gone probably for good, dude. It's, I mean, nothing's open. Um, it's like 8 p.m. right now. We're gonna head to a hotel and we're gonna end it here. But I did wanna bring a more uh, vlog style to this video, start the day off, kinda show you what we do sometimes. If we don't know what we, we are doing, we're going in blindfolded, looking for spots, but sometimes you guys get an idea. A lot of, sp e everything's different. Uh, we look around, we contact the owners. Sometimes we, we pay to film there. Everything's different. It depends what we're doing this. Doing this for about eight years now uh, on YouTube, so we're always looking for the craziest spots and sometimes we find some really amazing spots. It never gets old. It really doesn't. We have 600, 700 abandoned videos on the internet and it's fun. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this and you're new here, subscribe. You guys already know. And without further ado, guys, I do have merch. I'm wearing it right now. Um, so link in the description down below. If you want to see some of the pictures also I take in these places, link in the description down below for Instagram, Exploring with Josh. So rise above, just get out to explore. Peace and thanks for watching.